a third of the population is living near the coast. And the humans always gave a lot of value to the shoreline because of trading, because of the beauty of the beach and the presence of water. Nowadays, unfortunately, climate change will increase the speed at which the shoreline is going to change. Societies very often are not able to cope with this very high rate of modifications. So we established this new program called the Venice Environmental Studies and is about trying to understand the feedbacks between environment at the coastline and the societies. Everything in Venice revolves around the water. It affects residents, business owners, tourists even. So it's very important to understand what's going to happen in the future with sea level rise. To this goal, we have two classes. One is focusing on biology and geology of coastal systems and one is focused on the economics of climate change and the impact of climate change. For the first time, we can study very close all the different systems that are developed for Venice, and this can be applied to other cities. Venice has been investing a lot of time and research and money into restoring and strengthening the natural wetlands and the natural marshes in the Venice Lagoon. Because people have discovered that these marshes are very good at reducing the flooding and in particular reduce erosion due to hurricanes and extreme events. It's a hard trade-off with a city like Venice. You want to preserve all the history that's in the city itself, but you don't want your preservation of the city to further damage the natural areas. We've spent a great deal of our time studying the most project, which is a system of gates in all of the inlets that when a high tide is projected, the gates will rise up from the water, stopping the tide from coming into the lagoon. Venice is a forefront for this mitigation because it's a location in which this problem was there for the last 100 years. In recent years, we saw a lot of these very dramatic storms impacting the U.S. coastline. For example, Katrina in New Orleans and Sandy in New York and New Jersey. And this kind of threat is going to become more and more common. So by studying all the efforts that are ongoing in Venice, we can better understand what can be done in terms of mitigation even in the United States of America.